Hello friends, Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to show you how to compile C sharp code using Visual Studio Code. It's a new tools of Microsoft. So first, I download Visual Studio Code. Copy this from your browser. Paste here, and from the uh, this site HTTP code dot visual studio dot com from here click on download visual studio code click on here according to your os you can download uh, from various i am using windows so i am downloading windows version and it is downloading so i have downloaded before so i am not i am cancelling these things now we need a uh, dot net core sdk tool so copy this and go your browser and paste in here from the from this site microsoft.com dot net download and click on here from here uh, select sdk not runtime uh, according to your version you can download this i am using windows 64 bits so i am downloading this if you use 32 bit you can download these things or if you use mac or others uh, you can download according to your needs i am in, i am downloading this click on here and it is almost 100 mb i have in a, i have I downloaded before so I am cancelling this now my downloaded file are in here dot net tools and visual studio setup so I am first of all I am installing visual studio code setup so click your mouse right click and click on run as administrator and from here click on yes click next and select and accept the agreement click on next and you can change your directory where you will install you these tools so i am installing c type so click on next from here you can change the name so i am installing next and from here you can select these things it is not essential so click on next and click on install and it will take almost two or one or two minutes it depends on your faces configuration now after installing visual studio code now install dot net sdk double click see check this and click on install and click on yes it will take almost one or two minutes to install so I for some second after installing dotnet sdk tool now we i am running my visual studio code with your mouse double click first time when you will open you will see like this and this is our activity bar and now we are trying to write a c sharp code for this we will have to to add a extension with this tool to add this extension click on here extension if you do not see this just face your control shift x again saying control shift x click on here c sharp hit enter here in the top you will see c sharp or visual studio code just click on install and it is almost 2, two mb it is not so much click on reload and click on reload window now our c sharp extension has been installed with our, our visual studio code now we will write a, a code in this tool to write this code first we will have to uh, create a folder for this we will have to click on explorer and here you will see open folder click on here and i am 
creating a folder in my desktop so selecting desktop from here click on new folder and open a give a name of this folder i am giving the name hello war now select this and click on select folder this is our empty folder we will write our program in this now we will need to a terminal to get this terminal click on view from here you will see integrated terminal click on here and this is our terminal we will write our command in this terminal here have four options problems out for debug console terminal we need now terminal now we will write a, a command in this terminal to get this command i am going my txt file so first time copy this dot net new console i will give this txt file below my video in description part don't worry about this so go in your terminal and paste control v again saying control v here you are seeing dot net space new space console so click on enter first time it will take some second to execute because i have in you know, i have used these tools before so it's uh, showing immediately so don't worry if it takes some second now we will have to command our code so copy this con dot net restore copy this remember first time when we execute this dot net new console in our empty folder here have a auto generated two file hello world dot cs project and cs and program dot cs if you click on here you will see a simple code is written in here why it is written because we have executed a command which command dot net new console if you execute this command you will see in your empty folder here will will exist to to file it will be auto generated so don't worry now we are executing our second command dot net restore so hit enter it will take also some second first time now our program has been compiled without any error now we will run our command to run our program we need to use this command dot net run dot net space run remember space so paste in here and hit your enter it will also take some second you are saying this is our output hello world this this output has come from here executing this code we are getting our our output in here now we will add another uh our uh, fintip or console file in here here i am writing hello with the card live if you any change in your code you must need to uh, set this with your control s if you change any change just you will have to set this now we will need to compile our code to compile our code which command do we will use just first time use dot net restore paste in here so click on here this compiling now we will run our code dot net run click on enter here you will see 
to output hello world it's come from from here and hello taken like this is come from here okay using these tools you can write your code according to your needs i am using a sample code in this uh, video tutorial now i will try to show you some setting in here if you want to use this compiler to write python code you just click on extension and from here you type python p y t h o n python and click in the here you will see extension if you want to write c c plus plus code just write c plus plus click enter here you will see the your extension using by adding this extension you can write uh, code c sharp python c plus plus javascript and which which language you want to write you must need to add the extension according to this language now if you do not see this activity bar just click on view from here you will see show activity bar because it is showing that's why it is high if you click on height it will be high if you want to see this just click on show activity bar okay now it is showing and using these tools you can easily debug this is our debug tool if you do not see this just on press your control shift d okay that's it uh, my tutorial if you want to like this okay say for me that's it assalamu alaikum